This is Blazers All Access, an inside look at UAB athletics. Presented by Pepsi, a Southern original, and by Viva Health, part of the UAB Health System. Here's the voice of the Blazers, David Crane. A week off for the green and gold, and now it's back to work on Saturday with Louisiana Tech visiting the Magic City for a critical Conference USA West Division showdown. We welcome you to Blazers All Access with head coach Bill Clark. Not all open dates are equal, and this one seemed to be desperately needed by you and your squad. Yeah, we were beat up. I think we were one of the few teams in the country that had gone eight weeks without open date, so we really needed it. Came on the heels of a tough loss on homecoming to Rice. The Owls got off to a good start, led 13-0 midway through the first quarter. They kind of stole your script as of late. You've been getting off to the good starts. Yeah, they did. I mean, we had a rough in the punter. We had a fumble. You know, a bunch of things happened that, that we didn't really want on the, on the start. Great answer by your team with two scores later in the period to grab a 14-13 lead. Did it feel like you sort of righted the ship at that point? We thought so. You know, we thought we were headed in the right direction. Rice took the lead back middle of the third quarter, stretched it back to 13 points before you battled back again there in the second half. Yeah, really proud of the kids. You know, I mean, obviously it wasn't one of those days. Seemed like everything that could go wrong went wrong, but our guys kept fighting and we were there at the end. Thought you'd thrown the game tying touchdown from 40 yards out with 11 seconds to go. Penalty wiped it off the board. I know that had to be a devastated locker room after that ball game. That was one of the toughest I've ever been part of. I don't know if I've ever seen a last second touchdown with a penalty. Um, so it was tough on our guys, and really I was so proud of them for how they fought. 30 to 24 the final as Rice spoiled homecoming and the Children's Harbor game. Here's a look back at some of the action from Protective Stadium. Hopkins the snap, little pop pass. T.J. Jones running right across the 30. Stays on his feet to the 40. Up the sideline midfield. Gets a block. Stays inbounds. No, they'll say he finally stepped out. Our pistol. Green gives it to Broussard. Straight ahead, going nowhere. Blazers ready for him that time. Pistol look again. Hopkins hands it off to McBride. Coming left into the boundary. Gets a block 40. 35, 30. Cuts right 25. Still on his feet 20. Carrying tacklers all the way down to the 11 yard line. Pistol look. Hopkins hands to McBride. Running right. Big hole again at the 10. At the 5. Stumbling to the goal line. And in for the touchdown. Green, the shotgun snap. Blitz comes. He pumps. Ball came out, scramble for it, no signal, no whistle, and I think UAB's got it. Hopkins takes the snap, gives to Dwayne, running right, lowers his head, trying to bounce it out, he does, to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone! <laughs> Touchdown, UAB! Six for UAB, Hopkins play fake, straight drop, with time, throws over the middle, caught near side, 45, midfield, out of bounds, Hopkins in the pistol, straight drop. With time, throws deep down the middle, looking for Prince again. He makes the catch at the 30, at the 20. He will score. And that's Prince. Hopkins the snap, straight drop. Lofts it deep down the seam. Shropshire turns, makes the catch at the 40-yard line of Rice. Three-man front for Rice. Hopkins, delay give to Brown, running left on the misdirection at the 30. 25-20, spinning to the 15, inside the 10, and tackled at the eight-yard line. The highlights are brought to you by Viva Health. 25% cash back with Pepcoin. I like big bucks and I cannot lie. The kind of cash that coin provides. When I walk down the aisle with a hungry face and things that I want to taste, I get paid. Earn 25% cash back now at pepcoin.com. You weren't thinking about a Medicare plan back then, but at Viva Medicare, it's been on our mind for a long time. And we know a thing or two about making Medicare easy. That's why our plans have $0 co-pays for primary care physician visits. So when the time comes to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan that focuses on the things you're passionate about, we'll be here for you. Viva Medicare. Enjoy life without the worry. Learn more at vivahealth.com slash Medicare. A girl? Daddy's girl. Gonna get that girl a pony. A drum set and braces. Quinceanera. A car? Dream college? Destination wedding? Are we gonna be okay? Ah, Regents. It's a girl! 
87% of people think about money all the time. Reasons makes it easier to get back to the moment. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Regions Bank. The final stats kind of tell the story of a back and forth affair. UAB wound up out gaining Rice 445 to 346 on the day. Blazers rushed for 127 yards. The Owls ran for 141. UAB threw for 318 yards. Rice totaled 205 through the air. Each team turned it over twice. Neither team was fantastic on third down. And one of the biggest numbers was fourth down conversions. Rice was five for five. UAB was one for three. It seemed like it just couldn't quite get off the field enough on defense. And that's everything. Third downs, fourth downs, we've always been very good. You know, obviously they got a, their quarterback back that, you know, we weren't really expecting, and he was super accurate for the day. Did have the big third, you know, stop to get the ball back at the end of the game for the offense, though. Time of possession importance is debatable these days, but 38 minutes for Rice compared to 22 minutes for UAB had to play a little bit of a role. It did. That's who their offense is. You know, their ball control, slow down the clock, you know, but those third and fourth downs really hurt us. Red zone, another number. Sometimes you don't look at it a lot on the stat sheet. Rice, though, five for five with four touchdowns. You were two for four in the red zone. Right. A little unusual. That's right. All those stats matter. Individually, Dylan Hopkins, 19 of 31 on the day, 318 yards, a touchdown, an interception. Thoughts on his play? Oh, yeah. I thought there was a few things, obviously, we'd like to have back, but I think played well, and then that last drive really may have, may have been the spark he needs to really take the next step. Dwayne McBride got hot in the first quarter, finished with 95 yards on eight carries, but he got dinged a little bit later in the game, didn't he? He did. Boy, he was really killing it, and, and he twisted his ankle. So, obviously, it was great to have this open day to get him, get him, try and get him back well. Garrett Prince delivered a big play for you and finished with 114 yards and a touchdown on four receptions. Yeah, that was a big one when we needed the big catch. Really had a guy draped over him and, and made the catch anyway. Legacy is what you do every day. We try not only to help people with their financial legacies, we hope that we enrich their lives and help them become better people so that that total package at the end of the day is something they can be proud of. We help them craft their legacy. Hey y'all, I'm Riley Green. While performing keeps me busy on the road, Alabama is where I was born and raised and it will always bring me back home to vote. Writing songs allows me to use my voice to tell my story. You too can make your voice heard by registering to vote and obtaining a government issued photo ID. Your civic participation is crucial to the success of us as a state. Together, let's make a difference for Alabama. It's time to find your next Chevy truck and forge ahead. Take on new challenges and take it to the next level. Find new possibilities, find new roads. Chevrolet. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Children's of Alabama. Noah Wilder led the defense with 12 tackles, yet another double-digit tackle performance. Antonio Moultrie finished with a career-best 10 stops. But our player of the game is John Turner. Six tackles, one and a half for a loss, and a sack. And just great to have him back out there, isn't it? It is. Boy, why all the experience and leadership. And, you know, that's been some of our problem in the secondary. We've had so many good players early on, and we've had so many guys banged up. And to get him back and his leadership experience, big deal. You read my mind or my notes once again. With all the missing pieces throughout the first eight games, grade the secondary's performance so far. You know, I think solid. I think, you know, we really thought that was going to be a dominant secondary. And we had and we had depth, and we have had wrists and hamstrings, and you know, just on and on and on. So we've had to keep shuffling the line up, and that's that. I think that's hurt our consistency. You head into the final month of the regular season, coming off the open date, health-wise overall. Where are you? Pretty good. I mean, from where we were, a lot better, obviously. But I mean, we still got some guys out. We're just going to battle through it. A girl, daddy's girl. Can to get that girl a pony, a drum set, and braces, quinceanera, a car, dream college, destination wedding? Are we going to be okay? Ah, Regions.
87% of people think about money all the time. Regents makes it easier to get back to the moment. 25% cash back with Pepcoin? I like big bucks and I cannot lie. The kind of cash that coin provides. When I walk down the aisle with a hungry face and things that I want to taste, I get paid. Earn 25% cash back now at Pepcoin.com. Legacy is what you do every day. We try not only to help people with their financial legacies, we hope that we enrich their lives and help them become better people so that that total package, at the end of the day, is something they can be proud of. We help them craft their legacy. You know, everything starts somewhere, doesn't it? Look around. What did it take for us to get here? We built it. Don't forget where we came from, where we started. Look at me. This is not where we finished. This is just the start. Something new. Bigger for all of us. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Legacy Credit Union. The home stretch begins this weekend with UAB welcoming Louisiana Tech to Birmingham. Skip Holtz's team comes into the matchup two and six overall, one and three in Conference USA, but four of the losses have been by seven points or less. Yeah, I mean, if you watch them against Mississippi State in the first game, they really. That was a game they had won. Uh, you know, they lose to SMU on a Hail Mary, and we can just go through the list. I mean, this is a good team. I know it doesn't look like it record-wise. They're still a good team and very dangerous. There doesn't seem to be anything glaring on the stat sheet to explain the struggles. What impresses you the most about the Bulldogs? Well, <clears throat> you know, offensively, they're, they're really dynamic playmakers all over the field. And, then, and, you know, that's Coach Holtz calls the offense, so you expect them to be good. And then defense, very solid, good special teams players. I mean, you, you could easily see them being six and two. Tech won the first five meetings in the series. UAB's won two of the last three, and it always seems to be a battle. It is. It's a battle. Always comes down to the end. We're going to be ready for that. Just before the Rice game, two other big events took place. One, UAB announced it's joining the American Athletic Conference. Great news for the green and gold, isn't it? It is. It's the next step for our program. Really excited about it. And the UAB Athletics Hall of Fame inducted its 2020 class. Coach Jim Hillier and former Blazer and UAB's first player in the NFL, Josh Evans, were honored. Deservedly so, weren't they? Yes, really proud for them and their families. It's going to be an early start on Saturday, 11 a.m. Any concerns about getting out of the gates quickly that early in the morning? I, you know, I think any coach would be lying if he didn't say getting up early playing <laughs> is, you know, is interesting. But at the same time, I think we are built for those kind of things, and we've always performed well early. 11 a.m. kick. Pre-game coverage starts at 10 in the morning live from Tide English Pub. CBS Sports Network will televise the Blazers and the Bulldogs from Protective Stadium. Good luck against Tech. Thank you. For head coach Bill Clark, I'm David Crane. We thank you for tuning in. Hope you'll join us Saturday morning for UAB and Louisiana Tech and be back with us next time for Blazers All Access. Blazers All Access has been presented by Pepsi, a Southern original, and by Viva Health, part of the UAB Health System. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation of the Blazers Sports Network.